Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome back to our Iron Hammer playthrough, I nearly said Kislev fan, where things are going well. We are we are getting towards the end game here, or what we are going to be using as our end game. Where oh let's go settle this place. Hag Grief, which has a special mine. Don't know if I get access to the special mine. Yes, I do. Seems like a good dwarven settlement, and we are Slowly trying to wipe out the uh, final traitor Dowie from the map, and very nicely cleansing chaos. To be fair, um, For the, the cleansing of chaos is going extremely well. We're going to keep moving up that way. Oh, we're going to head that way. I think. Yeah. Oh, you get. I would like to buy here back off you, please. If you don't sell it to me. The lair of the Troll King. He's mine. Oh, you fucker. Franz the traitor, I see. I see how it is. And we're still uh, dealing with down south here. Uh, and where we are also potentially going to go and absolutely, once we've dealt with Kalida, we are going to deal with Kemri once and for all. Um, I do have some enemies over here and over here, I think. So I may have to go deal with some other people shortly at some point, but no rush. As I said, the main threat to the world is obviously me. <laughs> no, the main threat to me now would be if... If Grand Cafe were to go to war with me, I would struggle. I would beat them. There's no doubt I would beat them. I would be able to, you know, I could populate my border with so many armies that I would flow over them like a like a beardy tide. Um, but I have no desire to do that. I'm a little concerned about Gold Tooth, though, because of the Ogres in the North. I think they're all friends. They make deal. They might cause issues. Plus, they've not dealt with all the forces of chaos yet. Which does worry me. They've still got some people north of the, Grand, the Great Bastion, which kind of concerns me. Though I guess the fact that you get pop-ups at armies there every so often is potentially the issue. And there seems to be somebody else there. But they're just a mess. I mean, Goldtooth's probably sitting in the middle of that going, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't even look at me slightly dodgily. I think Cafe is in the north, but they don't seem to be actually wiping them out. Yep, you are a good solid part of the Order Tide now, so you can have some peace. Head this way. Let's hit the Temple of Skulls. Sack, occupy, sell to an elf. Speak if you must. I suppose. There we go. So who am I actually at war with? Tor or Lesser? I extend a welcome to the likes of you. Fine. I will buy peace off you. I have no desire to be fighting elves. And they will then trade with me and give me half the money I spent back. Well, not half the money, but you know what I mean. I, guardian of the... I trust you do not expect a full welcome here. Most astute. Very well. There we go. <laughs> smiles on us. I want to find people I am at war with to work out. If there's anybody I want to peace out with. 
Let's head north. I'm potentially going to lose these places again, but I need to start wiping them out from various positions. Let us begin. The strong agrees. Oh, shit. <laughs> derp, derp. It's fine. It's not a huge issue if I lose some territory here. And, ooh, Moxia. We have enemies building up. A valiant defeat. We're actually going to have to lay siege. Because they've got two stacks there. There's no rush. I'm Because I'm basically going to just bring up another army in a turn or two. Praise Sigma for Karazanko. I didn't actually realize I'd reach them. Nadu. Casting the rules. Let us begin. We are low on slayers, guys. Oh my god. Too many slayers have been fulfilling their oaths. So we're we're finding it hard to get new slayers. Oh yes, Iron Well with his Phoenix Guard. Attack. Oh, we can't quite get. Oh, hang on, it's because we're stuck in now. Will be settled. Bollocks. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Quarrel Seeker heading south as well. I need to get more armies going. I should basically constantly have armies recruiting at this point in time. Step forth, true friend yes. No. If you want to deal with them, you can deal with them yourselves. I have no desire to be fighting at wars against other autotide factions unless they force me. I have no desire to go and settle those islands, their jungles, their terrible territory for me, so. No! One unit of hammerers will fall! Straight occupy, I don't need the cash, and I'm, I will be keeping it. So, the uh, clan Angrand will maintain. will maintain their northern footholds to defend the earth from any future chaos incursions of them. The earth? The the world. Whatever this planet is called. Let us begin. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, anybody else I can get something cool from? No, because I spent all my money. E, e. Can I get Grail Guardians from one of the factions? That's what I really want. I don't want Grail Knights. Well, they're awesome. I think I'm going to get some Flying Knights. Hammerers, hammerers, hammerers. There we go. And we want at least one hero in here.
By the king's command. There we go. Let's start another force up in the eight peaks. Time for a reckoning. For oh my god, I don't know if you can hear how much it's raining outside. In fact, I am going to get a rune lord a here for other buffs. Runesmith even. Plus a disciplined runesmith is always useful. For weapon sharpening and things. What? Go. Spent too much money again. Please tell me, please tell me. No, I was hoping that they, had, they could recruit sisters. Yes, a couple of units of sisters in here because they are OP as hell. It is time. The rooms are ready. It shall be done. There we go. The iron hammer is Our marching. Loot and occupy, we're not going to be holding on to it. I, I may hold on to that, but we'll see. It's, it's not needed, if you see what I mean. Go. I want to start heading back that way there. Yes. Rune Lord. What do you want? Exactly. We need a little so replenish time. Because they have been pushing hard and they have taken losses, so I just need some time to replenish their forces. Gonna chuck everything I can into that one. I... <laughs> Couple of celestial, dra some celestial dragon guard into here to add to my defensive line. Oh, I see you. I'm just going to wait a turn because I don't need to, to sally forth. Time for a reckoning. For the wisdom of Valea. As the High King commands. Move. Trained by the White Tower. Get out of my territory. Hang on, why am I not auto? I've got these places on auto, so why am I? Rune of Explodiness. Agreed. I've cast the runes. Always the Rune of Explodiness first. It may not be the most meta, but I like exploding things. If you've not realized that by now, you've not been watching me enough. I like making things go boom. It's one of my pleasures, it's just making stuff explode. In big balls of fire. We will drive the lizards off our her, off our off Estellian territory and then probably feed it to somebody else. I am Belagar, true king of 
Nope. You guys need to deal with the goddamn puppets. Before asking me to join wars, you need to deal with your own, your own rubbish. I know the Lamia has some stuff over here. Oh shit. Ah, no, I knew that was going to happen, to be fair. That way towards there. Then we're going to kind of curve back around. My axe thirsts for war. Let us begin. Let us be about this. Please be in reinforcement range. There we go. And then you can double time the rest of the way into the settlement. So we're going to hop over, smash there, hop back, basically wiggle our way along a bit, potentially giving support to the boss man eventually. If you say so, we are chilling for a few turns. Let's head to the Temple of Cain. Nope. You are not sneaking out. I don't want it? Okay. is more valuable than gold or so they tell me. you will take Agreed. it then there we go some human allies there defending that border honestly you can't be asked dealing with him you are gonna head down this way Here we go. Skorgni. That's a weird name. What brings you before the air of love? Yeah, sure. You can have military access. Oh, am I at war with? No, I'm not war with Talak. I thought I was for a second then. Is that Talak or is that for ghosts? No, it's Talak. Uh, the elves are, but but those petty squabbles are beneath me. Nobody in, in our side of the map is big enough to even vaguely be considered a threat to me. For the wisdom of Valaya. Summon me if you dare. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. It is time. For the wisdom of the layer. Time to slay all breakers. There we go. Next turn. Basically, I just want to keep weakening him. The strong agrees. The axe thirsts for war. Time for a reckoning. I'll do it. A nod. We'll sort out regions up here. Because honestly, I don't mind other factions holding territory up here. What I will do is, long run, I will just funnel. Other, I will funnel whole regions to them. 
to make sure it's it's distributed fairly. The defense of the north is fairly distributed. Not that there will be any more Chaos Invasions, but it would be interesting if there was a mechanic where Chaos Invasions did just slowly trickle in every so often. I mean, technically you can get it from corruption, but... And Iron Will has gone to sea to try and get himself a foothold in the Southlands there. And as I said, we're going to do a multi-prong attack on Camry when we do go for it. And we're just going to rip through them. Um, don't know if I'll keep their territory. I may keep it. I may funnel it into somebody else, but... It's almost beneficial for me for the rest of the world to be in pieces. <laughs> I am there wasn't anything close about King that. Nope. Just in case. Don't want to limit myself. I should have said yes if they gave me the what bit of territory I wanted. Oh, I hate it when it does this. It's put me at a weird angle. As long as I start the walls, I'm not overly worried because things will generally sort themselves out. Yes. Let us begin. Oh, chill for a turn. For clan honor, the axe thirsts for war. Time for a reckoning, for the wisdom of the layer. Move! Summon me if you dare. You can dig in here, but we will soon be going for these guys. For the wisdom of the layer. There we go. Needless to say, I think things are going reasonably well. We've lost our settlement, which we captured. But again, with the settlements we've lost and we are losing our settlements, I don't really give a damn about They're not core territory at all. We're building more armies. I've probably got places I can build even more, but I think having two armies and constant recruitment is good because over time we will just have humongous amounts of armies. I am revenge incarnate. Yep, I have no desire to be fighting you across the whole map. Now I've driven you away, so you can have peace for the time being. Just means something I don't have to worry about. He will inevitably go to war with me again, admittedly. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Again, it'll be dealt with, but for now, Belagar's priority is to destroy the other dwarves here. The traitor Dowie. You know, capturing and keeping settlements is not part of his, his remit. Killing traitor Dowie is. Time for a reckoning. True king of eight peaks. Let us begin. As the high king commands. Again, wiping out people is gonna be his main role. You can start double timing this way to hit them. I think we're replenished enough. Damn, I should have used the underway. He says when. <laughs> it's actually getting to the point where other factions are beginning to get much more involved. 
King commands. It is time. Ready. Now, careful how you tread. There are snakes in the sand. Indeed, they can have some peace because I've got everything I wanted off them. A couple of turns to replenish there before we start taking on Kemri. And we're gonna position ourselves ready to make these moves. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, this is the main place I want to take, so. Because that is what I need for... Apparently I've already completed it. What? It says, uh, it's because it says country... Oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll take capturing them as actually being part of it. Odd. Not really that fast. I mean, we've got other plans anyway, so it's not like it impacts what my main goal was. Which is still to wipe him out. Oh damn, I should have told him to just land in Kofa. We'll we'll make we'll make landfall next turn and claim that territory, and then we'll we'll prepare for the move. And then we'll probably be starting the war with Camry shortly. <laughs> Give the border princess my border. Yeah, sure. We'll trade. God damn elves. Okay, I'm actually going to leave this one here because next time we are going to go to war with Kemri to finish off that threat and get the territory. Then I think we'll be finishing up this these guys in the next episode or two. And that's probably where we'll end it unless something major comes up. So please give suggestions for the next playthrough and maybe suggestions for another long form, a long, long playthrough because this has been a very long one. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. And if you are, please do like and subscribe. I said comments on the next suggested series below and as always an extra special thank you to our channel members and patreons monsters abound philip f unnamed space ace 475 coding monster jason Air, and jared horn and thank you everyone for watching cheers all <laughs>